triangle choke from a closed guard position. We're gonna break down into six steps. So from the closed guard, your feet next. You wanna get as high on his upper back as you can. Okay. For MMA, you wanna wrist control. For if it's just strictly submission grappling, you can go elbows. So we're gonna focus on wrist control. So number one step, be controlling those wrists. Okay. Number two, we're gonna push and pull with his arms. You're gonna push one arm into his chest and pull the other one across the center line and across our sternum. So it's a push and pull method, number two. Number three, our foot to the hip. Putting this, this foot to the hip is gonna help trap his arm and it's gonna help me shift off center line 45 degrees. So with this foot to the hip, I shift off 45 degrees and I keep this really tight to trap his arm in there. And still keeping a hold of his wrist. Number four, I'm gonna hamstring strike to his neck. I'm gonna get up high by pushing off his hip and lifting my hips off the ground. Just like this. Bringing my knee and my calf over the top of his neck. So it's perpendicular to his neck. I can't have my leg down facing like this. Because if I cross my feet, he still has a lot of space. He, just, he's, he can counter this. Harder to counter if I get my legs straight across his neck. From here, I, I go up his wrist and I cup his elbow to keep his arm tight and trapped. From here, I'm going to grab my shin bone. This is number five. Okay, grab my shin bone and pull it in tight. Number six, my leg goes over top of his head, or over top of my ankle, and I make a figure four with my legs. Already, I'm putting pressure on him. He's starting to pass out, potentially. And the last step is I'm going to grab the back of his head, pull down in, and hip up. I'll put the submission a blood choke on. So again, close guard position, wrist control. I'm going to push and pull method. So I push into his chest and pull the opposite arm across my chest. Number two, my foot goes to his hip. That's going to help trap his arm. That's going to help me elevate off the mat to get my hamstring striking, which is number three. Hips off the mat, controlling his wrist, hamstring strike to his neck, and dropping it down over the back of his neck. Switch my hand, so I have wrist control, I'm going to switch to the elbow. It's crucial in this triangle choke that you get your, his arm across. He's going to choke himself with his own arm. If he gets his arm out over here, it's going to be hard for me to get this technique. So I want it through his neck. I grab my shin bone. This is number four. Pull it in tight. Suffocate his head, trap his head. Number five, my leg kicks over and I put my ankle or my foot into the well of my knee and I'm going to drop my heel to the ground, start putting pressure on it. Grab the back of his head, pull in, hip up, and finish the choke. So, wrist control, number one, push and pull, two, foot to the hip, three, hamstring strike. Pull the arm across, get off center line, 45 degrees. Grab the elbow. Reach for your shin, pull it in tight, leg up and over, figure four your legs, drop your heel to the ground, cup his head, and hip up. It's a triangle choke from the closed guard position, utilizing six steps after you get wrist control.